Lane as you get a look at Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room, and we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. To throw is Wilson. Throwing again. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett! And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. This is Chris Carson, 1,000-yard rusher a year ago. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight yard line. This is Carson, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. On goal to goal runs, when you create loss yardage plays, the only way that happens is either called pressure or what I like to call straight ahead pursuit. A great read and they get to the backfield and make the play. And that was a big chunk of yardage loss. Meanwhile on third down they take a shot at the end zone but it's incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there. Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Myers' kick is good. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. 49ers coming back out here on offense. We mentioned their 8-0 start to the season. They actually broke an eight-game losing streak to the Cardinals when they defeated them. Eight-game losing streak? Yeah, they lost the Cardinals eight straight times. That's four seasons worth. Yeah, wow. And then a 28-25 victory this past week snapped that. But it was also the first game this year that the Niners have actually thrown it more times than they ran the football CD. And that is something that I think people are starting to come to grips with about San Francisco because you think about their head coach, Kyle Shanahan, and his reputation as an offensive wizard. And whenever we hear that, what's the first thing we think? Throwing the football. He's always been a run-based guy, and he wants go, that running go. game finely tuned 
because it travels late in the season and it travels through the playoffs. And that's what they that's what leads San Francisco. They had to go the other way against Arizona in order to secure the win. Well, if the Niners have it their way, the only travel they'll be doing in the playoffs will be to Miami. Because as it stands right now at 8 0, they would play at home until that point. And why Miami? Super Bowl. There you go. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 31, Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end.